Welcome to my channel. In some of my previous videos, I've showed you how to wet felt, needle felt, and also how to make snowmen out of socks and rice. Um, today I'm going to show you some of the finished products that I've made and just talk a little bit about what I used to make them. Um, we're going to go over snowmen first, and I have here one of my snowmen. He is made uh, mostly with socks, this, this one here. The, the body is made out of the leg of the sock. You can see the ribbing. Um, the hat is made out of the leg of the sock, and I dyed that with food coloring. Uh, the little tie that goes around his hat is also a piece of the sock, but uh, it's the wrong side of the sock, so you can see it's fuzzy. And I also incorporated a, a pipe cleaner in there um, just to get a little sparkle. His scarf, or a little neck warmer actually, is a piece of sock dyed with food coloring. And his eyes and nose are made from yarn and I used a needle and thread um, and made French knots to make the eyes and nose. Uh, not thread, I think I, uh, I used yarn with that. And his arms are also made of yarn and I just uh, used uh, a needle with some yarn on it and sewed on these little arms. The buttons are made with puffy paint and you can buy those in little little tubes about this big and um, they it hardens, you have to let it harden for several hours but uh, those make good buttons and this is one example I have many snowmen so I'm going to show you quite a few different uh, examples okay this snowman is made with the sock, the leg of the sock again, so the ribbing. But instead, on this one, I knit him. Actually, did I crochet? It's hard to tell with this this yarn. It's the stitches are hidden. Uh, I either knit or crocheted his scarf. I did knit this hat, and I attached a little pom pom with glue, with using a glue gun. And again, the eyes and nose are made with yarn and also the arms. Uh, this snowman, I used some yarn that had glitter in it, if you can see the, the sparkle, for his scarf, and that is a knitted scarf. And his hat is, is made out of uh, a piece of the sock. This is the toe of the sock and I dyed this sock with food coloring, turned up the rim so that the inside of the sock, which is fuzzy, makes it look like he has a little fuzzy brim on his hat. And his buttons also are made with the puffy paint, purple this time. His eyes, I used the puffy paint also instead of French knots. Okay, now something a little different, um, this fella, he has hair, which is made with yarn, and his scarf I knitted, with, I just put a green and a blue yarn together and knitted both colors at the same time. He has uh, buttons that I used a glue gun to put on. And his eyes are again made with yarn, French knots. His hat is felted. I had I also do some wet felting, so I had a, a piece of 
a section of green felted material and I cut this hat out of it and sewed it onto his head and made him a little hat. The yarn um, for the hair, before I put the hat on, I sewed into his head. Um, so you can't see where that was done. All right. Now something else a little different. Uh, this one. A knitted scarf, but this is the sock leg. See the ribbing? What I did with this one is I cut down the ribs and made little hanging pieces, um, like a tassel sort of, on his hat or her. And I used a green pipe cleaner to tie it together at the top around that. And no buttons on this one. I thought I, I, I thought it might be too busy on him. Okay, this one has hair again, and a little headband this time. The headband is made out of the wrong side of the sock, and also the neck warmer. I put one pink button. This one is a little smaller, so I thought just one button would be appropriate on this snow lady. Okay. Now, this one has a, let's see, a crocheted chain for the neck warmer. And the hat is knitted and I also made a little pom-pom out of the yarn that I knit the hat with. Let's see, I have a stocking hat. Let's see, something else a little different. This one is made, um, this part of the sock is the toe of the sock, so you'll see that it's all smooth on the bottom because it's the toe. And the hat is also made of the, out of a toe of a sock and then turned up so that the wrong side of the sock is here for the fuzzy brim. I used the glue gun to put attach three buttons to the brim and I also used the glue gun to attach a little green pom-pom. His scarf is made out of the wrong side of the sock and I've, I've sewn it down so that it, it, it doesn't move and doesn't untie. But you can see that. It makes a nice fuzzy scarf. And again, the arms are sewn on. All of my snowmen, I sew on the arms. This snowman is made with the wrong sock wrong side out. This is the toe part of the sock. And see how fuzzy he is. And his hat, this time I used the wrong, a wrong side out sock. For, this is the toe. And the brim is smooth because it's the right side of the sock. I used a pipe cleaner and sewed that along the edge to give him a little pizzazz. And I also tied, a cro I crocheted a chain with yarn and tied that around and just made a little little poofy fancy top on his hat just to give him a little different look. These, this is a scarf made with um, a piece of the sock. As you can see the fuzzy is the wrong side and the smooth the curls when you cut it is the right side and I thought that he didn't need buttons because he's got so much scarf going on there. Okay. Um, let's see, what else is different here? This, I have a lot more. They're not all real different from the previous. Um, this one here, um, this is 
the toe of the sock, the smooth body, the ribbed part of the sock, this is part of the sock, and also the scar. And when I used the food coloring, um, it dyed in a nice variegated pattern on this one. Um, almost looks like I did that purposely, but I didn't. And uh, this is uh, the ribbed part of the sock for this scar. So it, the dye grabbed some of the ribbing darker than it did uh, in other places. Now these are this one is in process, and I I wanted you to see, and I did show you this in my video um, how I got the eyes and nose on there without there being any threads visible of where the thread went into the, into the snowman. So I entered from the head to make the eyes and nose, and this gets covered by a hat, so you never see this part, and also. That is where I, I sew the open part of the sock together. And around the neck, when, when I first fill the sock and sew this together, it's just one big blob. And I take a piece of um, white yarn or cream color, something that doesn't show up, and tie it really tight around this part, making a head and body form by doing that. And that gets covered up by a scarf or a neck warmer. And the arms, I enter near the back and I go in here and then come out here and sew all the way down the arms and then I go back up the arms and come back out again here at the neck. So that way um, you don't see any of that. It's all covered up. So he is ready. I'm not sure what's gonna happen to him or her, but uh, this one is ready to be decorated. This one, just experimenting, I thought I might try some hair on this one, so I glued down a little hair here, and uh, that will be sticking out once it's covered with a hat. It's just going to be a few little curls sticking out underneath the hat. and. Uh, I, ha I haven't decided if I like this idea yet. Um, I'll have to trim that up. It's a little long there. But it's just an experiment. But I thought I'd show you that. There's so many possibilities when you're making these. Ideas just keep coming to you about a different way to decorate them. I also wanted to show you uh, some wet felting projects that I have been working on uh, getting ready for Christmas. And this one is, of course, a Christmas tree. And I actually wet felted the tree. I'll hold that up here so you can see it better. And then needle felted on top of it. Originally, it was just a kind of a green blob, and a little bit of brown down at the bottom. And then I uh, Took after it was dry, I needle felted on some balls and decorations. So this is just a little experiment. And this could be hung with a dowel across the top or any way you choose to hang it. I also, because I like snowmen so much, made a snowman. And I did him in the same way. I first wet felted a uh, snowman and I did have his arms and a scarf and a hat on him and his face but they weren't well formed. Wet felting is gives you more of a watery colored look, uh, not a lot of definition but in some cases it looks very pretty that way. In his case I just wanted to get the base going um, for what would be this. and. On top of what I had already wet felted, I used my needle felting process to define him more. So he could also be hung with a, a dowel or other method. So that's what I've been working on and I just wanted to share with you 
some of my finished products and I hope you if you haven't watched my other videos on how to do these processes I hope you will um, and I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday